What's up YouTube? This is DW Asterius and this is going to be another episode of Amazing Fish and today's Amazing Fish is the Spotted Silver Dollar. Okay everyone, so today you're looking at my 210 gallon aquarium. This tank has fish from Central and South America. And the fish I want to show you guys today are my pair of spotted silver dollars. These fish are one of many of the different types of silver dollars. You know, before I showed you guys my striped silver dollars. And today I want to give you guys a look at the most common type of silver dollar available, which are the spotted silver dollars. Obviously, they're called silver dollars because of their shape. They look um, a little bit like a coin. And um, they definitely are some awesome fish to keep. That shape is just very unique. And um, they just have awesome behavior and just are a great fish to keep. Okay everyone, so here's a closer look at the spotted silver dollars. I love these fish because they look so much like piranhas, which are their cousins, but they definitely don't have all that aggression. Um, if you notice, they have just all these nice little spots across their body, and then they have the little orange on the cheeks, and then those black markings when these fish are breeding, that black covers um, a good portion of their body, like one-fourth of their body. So they definitely do look pretty awesome. And when you compare them to your average fish, they definitely stick out. Now these silver dollars are a schooling fish and they definitely need their school. Um, if you don't provide a school, they will hide a lot and just even possibly become very aggressive. So they definitely need a school and when they are in a school, that's when you see the most colors, that's when their spots are more intense and their behavior overall is just more pleasing, they're more active and just um, more entertaining. On top of having an awesome appearance and just awesome behavior, these fish are also very easy to take care of. Um, these fish can be found just about at every pet store. Once again, these are the most common and they are relatively cheap. I remember when I bought my striped silver dollars, they were $30 a piece. And these silver dollars, these um, spotted ones, if you go to PetSmart and you catch a sale, you can get these for a dollar. So they definitely are very cheap. And once again, they are very hardy, very low demanding. The only main thing you gotta consider when keeping these fish is that they definitely need their school. If they don't have a school, they can potentially become aggressive. Um, they can hide all the time. And it's just something you don't want to see. They won't show a lot of color. They won't show a lot of behavior. So you got to keep these guys in numbers. Um, other than that, these fish do great with just about any tank mate. You can keep these with peaceful fish because they really stick to themselves. And you can also keep these with aggressive fish. Like you see, I have them with Jack Dempsey's, um, Red Devils, and just fish that are known to be aggressive. They get along with just about anyone. Um, just make sure you don't keep them with fish that's big enough to eat them. Um, these fish are notorious for eating plants, so you definitely don't want to put these in your planting tank or else they will shred just about any plant. The only plants I've been safe with are these um, Java, Java fern. They eat Anubias and all those other common plants. So the only, fit, only plant that I've had luck with silver dollars is um, Java fern. Other than that, they'll shred any other plant. I almost forgot to mention that these silver dollars have some very tiny scales and because of that, they are a lot more prone to ache than other fish. Um, I remember when mine first caught ick, the ick disease just spread up across their body very fast. Their entire body was just about white because those tiny little parasites spread very quickly. So these fish are prone to ick. They do catch it a lot faster and easier. And um, it does take a little bit longer for ick to recover from these fish. However, once they recover after the first infection, I do find that they become somewhat immune to it and it really doesn't bother them as much as um, that initial time. But yeah, these fish are sensitive when it comes to ick and stuff like that. So try your best to avoid ick. However, if it does come in your tank, um, it just will take a little bit longer for it to be cured with these silver dollars. But yeah, these are some awesome fish. They're super easy to take care of and very entertaining. So YouTube, that's been another episode of Amazing Fish. Let me know what you guys think about the spotted silver dollar. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you next time.